Transfer yourself instantly to any town you've visited before. Touch a place you want to go with the cursor, then press X. You can only fast travel to towns and ports. Fast travel may be unavailable at times depending on your progress in the game. Cool. We'll make this town twice as prosperous as it once was. I get up there with you because you're green and you're blinking. I'm going to his house first. I'm that person. We look for things in houses. coin pouch. Yeah, see? Who are you? Oh, howdy there, friend. What can I help you with? Well, now, you got a special look about you. I can tell from the way you carry yourself that you're one heck of a fighter. <laughs> Lady Luck must be shining down on me. Cause it ain't every day you meet someone like you. The folks around these parts call me Particio. I'm a merchant. Oh, I met you! That dusty trail. You see, I've got big plans and big ideas. Too big to handle alone. I was hoping I'd find a dependable sort like you to accompany me on my travels. Sure. But you really mean it? Thanks, partner. Particio at your service. I'm the man who's gonna save the world from the devil they call poverty. Here to begin in a party. Okay, the party will temporarily be dissolved in chapter one of Particio's tale will begin. Even if you choose no, you can still hear the story later by visiting the local. Uh, let's hear his tale. Sixteen years ago. <sighs> what do you think, Particio? What do we do with this land? What do you mean, what? Married Scratch here? That's exactly why I'm asking, little chickadee. It's a blank slate. It can be whatever we make it. As long as we got the skill and gumption, anyhow. Wow, Pops. You sure got away with words. I know, son. Swipe that line if you want. No, I wouldn't do that. Even ain't right. Real merchant doesn't filch what they want. They buy it. That's my boy. Fine words. <laughs> you do me proud. Oh, ooh, I had an idea. It, it was up to me. I'd split this whole plot with all our friends. And that way, we could all settle it together. I like how you think, Chickadee. That'd make everyone happier than hens in a coop. Yeah, smart, huh? I love his little voice. <laughs> a fine idea, but we can't forget our business interests here. This land is an asset. We bought the deed to it fair and square from its former owner. If we want to divvy it up, Patricio, we can't just give it away for free. Aw, come on now, Mr. Rock. No need to be stingy. We're here because we heard there was silver to be found in these hills. Rock and I pooled our money and bought the rights to these lands. That we did. 
Rumor was you couldn't take a step without tripping over silver ore. This is no time to be ooing and on, chickadee. You want to be a merchant too, right? Then take these leaves and go buy us some silver. Gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for that. A merchant cultivates a discerning eye through knowledge and experience. That means hands-on training is more precious than gold. Negotiate a good price and show us your business acumen. I look forward to see what you can do, little chickadee. I like the little chickadee. I kind of want to use that now. I love this place. I can't see what I can't wait to see what this little town grows into. Oh no, I wonder who's got silver to sell. He <laughs> time to show off my uh what's gonna call it? My business acumen. Okay, right, during the day, Patricio can purchase items from townspeople. Try pressing square near a townsperson. You must have sufficient funds, of course. Nope. She's not selling silver. Oh, she do got herbs and healing. I gotta come back for that one, too. Nope. He's got... I need silver. A stone. Don't need that. Light coin perch. Mm. That's cool, though, that he can do that. Dubious silver nugget. Hmm. Hey, mister, that's a mighty fine metal. How about selling it to me? I can pay fair and square. Ugh, he's off. I'll trade you. Don't just tell him about this deal. Deal. Thank you kindly. Hey there, Particio. Managed to buy any silver? Sure did. Here, this is it, right? Give it here. Whoa, now. This is some fine quality ore. You didn't even use all the leaves I gave you, neither. Your boy has a fine eye. He must have inherited his business acumen from you. He's got the cutest, <laughs> squeaky voice. I bet we can earn a bundle off this. Good work, sir. Bundle of what? Uh, yeah! We sold off all but a roof over our head to start this business. It's a gamble, that's for sure. But one well worth that. The global economy is beginning to adopt a standardized silver leaf to serve as the basis for commerce. We're entering the age of silver. Mark my words. We're well positioned to earn a fortune. Right. We rise and shine early tomorrow to get digging for silver. Woohoo! I can't wait to get started, pups! We're gonna strike it rich, chickadee. <laughs> oh, they sped up themselves. Look at that.
eight years later. Look at that, that town done grown up. Today's haul, freshly plucked from the salt, 100% pure, high-quality ore. Rumors about the quality of this town's silver drew me here to make a deal. But what real guarantee can a youngling like you offer me on its value? Hey, looks can be deceiving, my fine friend. I've been doing this for eight years now, and I know my stuff. Purity is the only means by which you can assess silver's ore quality. Take a look at the sheen on this rock. See the luster? That sparkle? Why, this is the finest you'll find in the land. It's even used in old King Dudley's crown. Impressive. Bidding starts at 10,000 leaves. Let me hear some numbers, folks. Eight hundred thousand leaves. Eight hundred thousand. Whoop. One million six hundred thousand. Take that girl money. Ah, one million eight hundred thousand leaves. Take it. To We've got one point eight. Any other bidders? Anyone? So for one million eight hundred thousand. Whoop. We done won the lottery. Appreciate it, friend. That is indeed high quality silver. I hear these merchants built the silver operation themselves. In just eight years, they turned this town into one of the continent's most plentiful sources of silver. That youngling has got potential. He possesses a discerning eye. But more than that, he's deft at reading people's hearts. He'll be a fine merchant one day. He's only 16, too. Soon he'll be a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> oh, oh, somebody getting jealous. On to our next nugget. Let's get the bidding started. All of today's goals, goods sold and settled. Time to head on home and give Pop some good news. Grinning from ear to ear, party. You must have made a bundle today. How come I don't see that? Like, he done made all this money. Where is it? Hey there, pops. I sold a bundle today, like always. That's my boy. Good work. since we settled here. The town has too. We're only gonna keep on growing, Pops. You bet. This town's gonna be something. Just gotta keep on digging up more silver and making a killing. And of course, use the profits to do right by everyone in town. 
Oh, that's so wholesome. You bet your pumps. We'll do it together. Particio. We've got trouble. That gang's stirring up mischief at the mine again. They're back, huh? Go on ahead. I'll catch up. Protecting our mind's vital, but keep the violence to a minimum. You hear me? That's a deal I can't make, Pops. I'm gonna go rouse the town, gather a posse, whoever's willing to come. Hey, just don't do anything risky, you hear? <laughs> already gone. I mean, you gotta defend a litter. An altercation with that game, huh? I need to hire someone tough as nail if I want to win this quarrel. At night, Patricio can hire transfer into following him. You have sufficient funds to hire people. Okay. Strength of the labor. Skills is mine. And some of those gather tears have to receive 50 cents off purchases. Uh, I don't think these do. Feeling great. Bargainer. Earn. Uh, I don't think he's the one. He's not the one. Cleave in two. Okay, watch his distance. Oh, Lord. He, okay, he can cleave, so he might be one. He might be one. I mean, he a dishwasher. He be slanging in the kitchen. Here's some people. Physical boost. Haggler. Look. Physical boost. I kind of need you to beat up. Skill. Successive 10% off purchase. Well, he's like 300. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. What are you again? He's a... The laborer. Cleave into summable eight. Receive a full refund when staying at an inn. I had twelve hundred to hire him, bro. Why are you expensive? Praise receive ten percent off of purchases. Hagler receive five percent off of purchases. Okay, let's go with this. Yeah, I've hired a hardy fighter. Right then, time to head to the mine. Make for the okay. I'm about to say he could go towards him, but he and is he's telling the story. Okay, so we're gonna go here first. Oh lord, now I'm gonna get up here. And I need the stuff. 
healing break. Nah. Oh, that was not okay. You were caught by surprise. All right, Patricio, let's, let's see what you got. Up. Hmm. Got Articio, handmade spear. Can I not give him a different spear? Oh. Yeah, that that's that. Oh, he takes bows as well. Okay, okay. So he do, they don't share. Okay. All right, cool. That is good to know. Seems like you're all ready and raring to go. You look just as raring as any of us, boss. You bet I am. That lousy gang's really got my hackles up. The more we have, the more they try and take away. Those ruffians got the nose for coin and nothing else. They're here to take what we worked hard to make. So no holding back. Yeah, they're good for nothing thieves. Let's get them good, boss. Hmm, new face, ain't you? I'm counting on you to watch our backs. Take this. Think of it as a down payment. Ooh, the boss is doling it out again. You'd really give corn to a stranger you just met, Particio? Of course I would. Folk gotta help each other out if they want to make it in this world. <laughs> Strange to think the Wild Stallion's got a soft side. Harder in her bruising. No one can beat Particio the Wild Stallion. Too quick by half to let go of his leaves, though. Quiet back there. Stop the muttering. Trouble brewing in the ranks, bucko. I knew you'd show up, Giff. <laughs> kind of you to worry about my posse. <laughs> Hand over your coin. You're making a tidy profit, aren't you? We do honest work in our town, and we get honest pay for it. That's why it gets my goat that you scoundrels think you can waltz in here and steal what we shed sweat and blood for. Why not try some honest work for a change? It feels good. I like how they being so wholesome about this whole thing. Yeah! Give up being rascals and work like the rest of us! Laborers, all the same. Come on, boys, take them down. This world's about taking, and we're going to be the takers. Yeah! <sighs> that rat. He needs someone to cool him down. Listen up, fellas. We can't let this bunch of scoundrels beat us. Double pay for anyone who distinguishes themselves. Let's get to work! That's our boss. Generous as always. Come on! 
Let's get him! Oh, yeah. bro! Let's go, big bro! Bring it on! I love this. So good. Here goes. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up. There you go. Your ship now, friend. Oh, shucks. Don't mind if I do. Bring it on. He don't seem to have a lot of. Oh, there we go. Arrow of force. Got you. Here goes. <laughs> I ain't one for holding back. All in a day's work. I like this. That's good. so good and I got a healing great yay ha huh, not so tough after all huh damn don't think you'll get away with this <laughs> right right none of that cliche hogwash now <laughs> retreat we're getting out of here And stay gone, you lily livered low lives. We did it, boss. You know, the new guy ain't said nothing, right? Y'all did good, fellas. So, what do y'all say we go and have ourselves a celebration? I say, let's make it a big one. You hear that, everyone? Food and drinks on Particio. That's our boss, generous as always. Uh, hold your horses. I didn't say nothing about buying anyone. Come on, boss. Hurry it up. <laughs> they got you. They got you. Hey, I said it. You gonna partake of that money? Meanwhile, passing Roke. Roke is, Roke is suspicious. He's always suspicious. Hear what? I think my ears are deceiving me. Say that again, Rock. <sighs> I'm leaving town. For good. That joke ain't funny, partner. We built this place together. This silver mine is what it is today because of us. Both of us. Right when we're about to grow it even bigger, you hightail it out of here? Why? Capitalism is a stormy sea, my friend. Its waves rise and fall, and its tides ebb and flow. Fortune has favored us, and a high tide has graced our town. However... The tides are always changing, Pap. What 
What about our people? The ones who followed us here? I'll leave you with one word of warning. You do recall the contract we signed when we bought this land eight years ago? It has one crucial flaw. What's that? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Wow! He gonna leave him like that? Hey, partner, wait! That's so suspect! The tide's ebbing away from this town, Pap. Goodbye. You knew it was something wrong with the contract. You didn't say nothing. Wow. <sighs> I think I ate more than I could stomach. <sighs> this town's going to get even bigger. All of us are working hard to make it so. Mr. Rock. Heading home early today, huh? <sighs> Particio, may I have a word with you? Bro, how about you tell him what's wrong with the contract? Particio, I'm leaving this town. Huh? I won't mince words. This silver mine's days are numbered. Silver is being mined worldwide now, and it is the commodity's destiny to slowly devalue. I'm washing my hands of the precious metals trade and traveling to the eastern continent. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on, Mr. Rock. The East is rich and prosperous, a land abundant with promising wares. Have you heard of something called a steam engine? It is a revolutionary device that uses energy derived steam to provide unprecedented power. We're entering the age of steam, Patricio. I am certain of it. <sighs> Look at yourself in a mirror, and you'll see eyes sparkling with excitement. You have the spirit of a true capitalist. A golden opportunity like this has your blood pumping. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Patricio, I want you to come with me. You don't even talk to his daddy? I want your talent, your drive, your charisma. Possess a rare talent. I've traveled the world over and met few your equal. What do you say? Will you leave this town behind and join me on an exciting new venture? Together we can amass a fortune that would be the envy. Wow, Mr. Rock, I always thinking ten moves ahead. I admire you more than any other merchant. But I can't go with you. Right now, all I want is to stay and work hard with the folks here in town. I'm real sorry, Mr. Rock. Patricio, that sparkle in your eye tells me what's really in your heart. 
Your gaze is on the horizon, your spirit dancing at the thought of the potential business opportunities out there for you. <sighs> I see your mind is made up. A shame. Truly a shame. It saddens me to think of your talents withering along with this town. Goodbye, Patricio. Mr. Rock. The music is beautiful. Let me just say that. The music in this game is so beautiful. Kinda sped up everything. Look at that. Ooh. Oh no! They don't repold. Repold. No. Oh, not the repo. Present day. <coughs> Here you go, Pops. My special beef and veggie stir fry surprise. What's the surprise? Oh boy, <laughs> smells delicious. Well, Y'all kind of broke down there. I got questions about the surprise. Hang on, Particio. There's no beef in here. Surprise! <laughs> surprise! There's no beef. There's no beef. So you wouldn't really call it beef and veggie stir fry surprise, now would you? <laughs> I can when we're broke. We can't afford beef. So fill up on the name, if nothing else. Please? <sighs> Times are tough, huh? We dig and dig. Pull up all the silver we can sell, and it only gets us enough coin for table scraps. That contract I signed. Biggest mistake I ever made. The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. Why would you sign a contract like that, though? I can't believe I didn't notice that fine print when I signed the darn thing. That rotten landowner let us do all the hard work building this place up. And then snatched the whole thing back once the silver started taking off. Since then, all the profits from the silver we mine get sucked up by that leech of a landowner. I ended up pushing myself so hard trying to turn a profit. I drove myself into the sick bed. Eat my share, Pops. Merchant's health is the seed capital, and you need all you can get. Fine words. When'd you get so eloquent, Chickadee? We're out of medicine, too. Uh, hold on, Pops. I I'll go buy you some more pharmaceuticals. I'm sorry, son. It's me that's keeping you tied to this mess of a place. Roke wrong because Roke didn't even... Roke allowed them 
to sign that contract. So Rook is just as much to blame for all of this. like Marcus Price to me, you have yourself Thank a deal. You we just gonna buy them man. <laughs> so we already know what's gonna happen to Pop. Let's go ahead and go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and say this. Howdy there, fellas. Getting on well? Boss, got any work for us? None of us have had a job for days. We can't even afford a decent meal. This town's done for. We've lost everything. I gotta find a way to make this last measly crust of bread keep me going. Hey, boss. You got a job for me? Any job? Sorry, I, I want to hire you, but I don't got the leaves. It's hard to make a living with that silver mine now. The landowners' laws are squeezing us dry. Damn. What are we supposed to... It's my crust. Give it back. Ooh. Look at the fight. Shut up. I'm taking it. I've got mouths to feed too. They gonna take somebody's stuff though. That's enough. Here, y'all split my bread. It ain't much, but it'll tide you over. Boss, I. Yo, somebody need to punch Harry. Damn. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Nikki. It's my fault you're suffering. Yo, man, hold up. We're not gonna address the fact that Harry just went over here and took somebody's food. Only I could look out for you. Never imagined it'd end up like this. I never knew what a devil poverty was, how much pain it could bring. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out something to do for work. Harry, give him Boss, back his food. It's not your fault. Damn, you're pathetic. Look at you cry. Oh, we got a gut punch this dude, really? Now stop with the waterworks and pony up the leaves, bucko. Gift. As if today couldn't get any worse. Smart of you to toady up to that leech of a landowner. The most important thing in life is figuring out whose side to take, bucko. You haven't forgotten that contract from 16 years back now, have you? A merchant like you should understand the power of a flimsy piece of paper. What do you want, Giff? I got a message from our benevolent landowner. Tax on silver's going up. Lucky you. A lot of competition in the silver trade lately. Ore prices are going down, down, down. Hurts the boss's kindly old heart to do this. But times are tough. Rope gets as much to blame for this too. For you ain't getting another leaf out of us. Yeah, we're all struggling just to eat. Hmm, getting rebellious, eh? In this world, there are those who squeeze and those who get squeezed. 
You idiots are the lemon. You're nothing but lemon. <laughs> <laughs> like that's wrong, but like for real, for real, that was kind of funny. You, you. Though uh, none of you can afford to buy lemons anymore, can you? <laughs> Yo, pop him in the back of the Listen head. Up. Bucko, next time I come to collect, I'm taking a bigger cut. Look, I'm telling you, he can't fight. It, it don't take that amount. It, don't, it ain't gonna take that much. Just pick up a whole bunch of rocks and boop, right upside the back of his head. Hey, Pops, uh, I'm back. <coughs> Something happened? I've never seen you look so dispirited. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Particio. I won't pretend to know what's got you down, but here's a word of advice. Why not just go for it? Do whatever it is you want to do most. <sighs> you'll never lose if you never try, son. But you'll never win either. That settles it. I'll be back in two shakes of a case, Whisker Pops. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Kid's face lit up like a miner's lantern. <sighs> it's all over for us. Uh, they're gonna squeeze us until we're dry as the desert sand. Fellas, listen up. You wanted a job, and I got one for you. Let's send those leeches packing. You mean it? I've been holding back ever since they took our deed away from us. We've all suffered in silence. Now, well, I finally understood. That dastard landowner, well, only thing on their mind is how to grow rich and fat off our toils. They don't care a whit about what happens to us or our town. That's why we gotta take it back. And our lives with it. I'm with you, boss. This is our town. We'll fight for it. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Now that that's settled, let's hustle on over to that snake gifts place. Yeah! yeah! Like it's time for a good old hog time. Scrap boys, let's go. The 
again, music. Beautiful. Ooh, yes. Next time. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> you leveled up. And you up there with Hakari. Let me save you. You leveled up. Stone. I don't know what soul stone is. <laughs> Is there stuff down here? Yep, gotta look. Always gotta look. Let's have ourselves a showdown. Here goes. Are you weak against this? He don't have as much as I thought he would have had. I mean, it's cool, but it's like, dang, dude, I thought he would have had more. Oh, Griff living kind of nice up in here. Y'all see this? Very palatial light. He he very palatial on this. All nice and palatial and, and, and very uh Ooh, hi. Here goes. where I would love to have Hikari here.
maybe next time. <laughs> I like his I like his finished pose. It's cute. It's very cute. Uh okay, I was trying to find a way if I can get over there. Can I get over here? can't get over here. Give me this chest. Ah, I knew you weren't gonna make it this easy. Oh, you did make it kind of easy. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just getting warmed up. Yes. We still got that. We still got the bowl. All very handmade things. Oh, wait. I can get skills. Learn skills. Okay. We got 32. Collect money from a single phone. Getting cooked. Bring it on. <laughs> yeah. Put you on fire. Woo! I love it. All in a day's work.
look, Griff eating kind of good up in here. Let me just point that out. Sentinel, okay. It's cooking in. Gonna be double scrambled, y'all. Thank you for the follow, Fooey Bonk. How are you? Did you need some? Yes. What do you got for me, sir? monies do I have? I have 
have money. Okay, cool. Let's go with the short bow. And then spear. Put this immediately. And then let's sell some stuff. Ooh, that's a knife. I definitely need to get him out of that. Okay, so let's sell some stuff. So let's sell this. So we don't need that. We don't need this. We don't need the wooden shield. Because we have the bronze shield now. We don't need the ordinary hat. We have that. Yeah, let's go with this. The big purchase, yes. But I feel like that's necessary. Let's do like forty. That's good. Hi, Jay. <laughs> All right, now let's just save this because I made changes to old boy. He's a little bit stronger. Excuse me, Gif. Huh? Look who it is. Come here so I can kick your ass. I'm moved. I am. Came to give me what you owe me early? Huh. Something like that. Here. Coin made from our silver. One measly leap? You trying to insult me? You're the one insulting it, you rotten scoundrel. Every fortune's made from a pile of these. The little guy. Treat one with contempt and you'll lose them all. That goes for money. And for people. 
What a joke. We've made up our minds, Jif. We're taking our town back. You? A third-rate merchant from the sticks? Ha! You're just as stupid as your father. What did you say? Ooh! He said your daddy didn't have a left nipple. The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. That bit of fine print wasn't even in the original contract. The landowner slipped it in at a later date, all quiet like. Your gullible idiot of a father never even noticed. Thanks to you, we've lived fat off the hog. Earned ourselves a mine and a bunch of fool miners for next to nothing. <laughs> you you're dirty through and through. Right, Patricio, time to fuck up. tricked my pops and stole everything from us. Yeah, well, too bad. This world, see, it's made so that people with smarts, like me, we win. <laughs> You've done it. You really, really got my coat. Get ready, Kim. Because we're taking our town back from your dirty mitts. Let's tussle, Kim. Bring it on. Have a nest. Don't mind if I do. Cool, cool, cool. Did you just boost him? I like the little yeah. stuff that they say between attacks too. But yeah, his last has gotta go. Just get 
Me and you gift, me and you. I need to see what you're, you're, you're again. No. I feel like I kind of want to set you on fire though. but for a second. Trust the shit that he like to do. Here goes. All right, so he's definitely he's definitely the. The gate full, you're gonna see what his late Getting warmed up. <laughs> I'll pound you into lemonade. 
It's interesting that his latent of power, his ability is not showing up. Major peace. Oh, wait! Spare my life! If it's money you want, I got it. Loads of it. See? Whoa there. Silver. So this is where you've been hiding all the coin you swiped from us. We can rebuild our town with this. You won't blame me, right? I was just following orders. Mm -hmm. That's so. Then fetch your boss. I'd like to have a word. I, I can't do that. No one's ever met him. Huh. Come to think of it, Pop said he handled the contract and all the negotiations by post. Neither me nor Pops ever had a face-to-face. -face. So, Giff, who is this landowner anyway? Rope. You can't make me talk! It'll be my hide if I do! Too bad for you. It'll be your hide if you don't. <laughs> Rock brilliant. The tycoon himself. He was always suspicious, if always what? suspicious, suspicious. Uh, Mr. Rock, but, but why? The man's got a ruthless mind for business. This was his plan all along. You're lying. This has to be some mistake. I'm sure of it. Mr. Rock could never do that to us. He wouldn't. Oh, but he did. When was the last time the store shelves were so well stocked? Life's returning to our little town. Hey, Greenhold. Hurry up and move this material. Yes, sir! <laughs> We're gonna work you hard until you pay off your debt, you hear? Mr. Particio, sir. <laughs> Pops, you fine to be walking around? Yeah, thanks to you. I'm too busy to be dead. <laughs> I'm distributing the wealth stolen from us back to the townsfolk. And life's starting to come back to us. Sure is. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I made arrangements to get the materials you want. Ooh, you're a life sir. Hey, partition. Can we have a talk? 
Uh-huh. We're talking now, ain't we? Just be quiet and follow me for a spell, will you? It's been 16 years since we settled here. We started from nothing and had our fair share of ups and downs. Yeah, you could say that again. Pops, Mr. Rock, he... Uh... I don't give a hoot about Rock no more, son. He left us in the lurch. I don't ever want to see his face again. But listen, I want you to look to the horizon. You've got a bright future ahead of you. You're gonna be something if I reckon right. Something too big for this little town to contain even if it wanted to. Pops? Don't worry about us anymore. We can get along just fine without you. Boss! Particio! Boss! I'm mad nobody still punched Terry for stealing that food. You've got too much potential for our little town. It'd just go to waste here. That's why I want you to hit that dusty trail already. Get along, little chickadee. Uh, this town's my home. I grew up here. But to be honest, as the day is long, I've wanted to see the world for a while now. Ever since Mr. Rock took off and left us. I don't regret staying here, not for an instant. But now, well, I know how painful poverty can be. Boss. We managed to weather our troubles here, even if just barely. But somewhere out there, I know there's folks suffering just as much as we did, or worse. I want to do what I can for them. Use my talents to make the world a better place. Hmm. Being a merchant ain't just about making bundles of leaves. It's the reason why that matters. I'm proud of you, son. Pops. You're no chickadee any longer. You're a full-fledged, bona fide merchant. Go on. Help others like you helped us. Bring prosperity to all those troubled folks out there. And show up that rock feller while you're at it. Get along now, Particio. We'll see to the town while you're gone. Yeah, we'll keep it safe and sound. Don't worry about us, boss. Boss, take care out there. Fellas. <laughs> you all say so. I got no choice now, do I? I'm hitting the road. I love the music, but this is so 80s. <laughs> I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. And so, with lofty ambition stirring deep within his breast, Particio leaves his hometown behind. Untold thousands across the world suffer under the yoke of poverty, and he has vowed to friends and family to help them all. Onward, this young merchant strives with eager step, 
excited by the prospects of discovering what's over that distant horizon. Patricio the Merchant, Chapter 1. Ian. I'm looking forward to sharing a campfire with you. Okay, so all the things that he got, we added it. So I reckon we really good now, folks. 